Hi kids, this is Mr. Bickford bringing you the next math lesson. Uh, today is going to be chapter one, lesson two. And remember, what you're going to need for this is Cornell note page. If you're taking notes on a note page, you'll need that. Or your composition book if that's how you're choosing to take notes. Okay, let's get started. Today we're talking about Chapter 1, Lesson 2, and our essential question or key topic is today we're discussing something called ratios. Uh, go ahead and practice saying that word a few times. It, it looks kind of like radio, uh, but you pronounce it ratio, the ratio of something to something. Uh, go ahead and write that on the question side. We're going to take some notes on what a ratio is. So over here I'm going to write ratio and over here I'm going to talk about it. A ratio, all a ratio is, it's a comparison of two quantities or two amounts. Okay, that's all it is, a comparison of, of two different quantities. Uh, one of the key things about a ratio is that it needs numbers and labels. There's numbers and labels. Or another way to think about labels is it needs units. Examples of how you say ratios look like this. Blank for every blank or also using the word per. So now let's talk about some examples. You should, after you know what a ratio is, you should be able to make as many examples uh, you should just be able to come up with them nonstop. Here are some examples. There are 54 highlighters in class for every 36 students. It's got numbers and labels. 54 highlighters for every 36 students. It's got numbers and labels. I could also go to the grocery store and see that uh, you can buy six apples per two dollars or six apples for every two dollars that's all a ratio is it's it's comparing two different amounts and it needs numbers and labels uh, something else to note is that the order is important if I'm saying uh, 54 highlighters the 54 has to come first for every 36 students the numbers and the labels have to match the words uh, Okay, next thing we're going to talk about is, actually, let me go back. I think I'm going to highlight some key stuff already. So, a ratio needs numbers, and it needs labels or units. Okay, and... Just going to underline the keyword ratio. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is how you can write ratios. How to write the ratio of six highlighters. for every four kids. Okay, basically at a table group, right? That's what you've got. Six highlighters for every four kids. 
uh, there's three different ways that I could write that ratio. Now, the first way is what's uh, called using a colon. So I could say six to four. That's one way. Another way to write a ratio it looks just like a fraction. Six to four. Six highlighters for every four kids. And the last way that I could write it is just using the word uh, two, T-O. So I could say that six, two, four. Okay, so let's mark those up with our highlighters so you can see clearly there's one way to write a ratio right there using a colon. Probably the most common way that we'll write ratios is this as a fraction. Okay, you can write ratios, they look just like a fraction, but again, a ratio is going to have labels and words that go with it. And the last way that you could write a ratio is you could say uh, six to four using the word uh, TO. So to recap, a ratio is a comparison of two different amounts. You need numbers and units or labels. Um, you can write a ratio in three ways. Uh, your practice today is going to be writing ratios and also the meaning of the ratio. The meaning is the, the words. So six highlighters for every four kids. That would be the meaning of this. Okay. Ratio has numbers and meaning. Last thing we're going to talk about today is that ratios can be simplified just like a fraction. So I'm going to write ratios in simplest form. Okay, ratios in simplest form. I'm going to go back to my ratio of highlighters to kids. I can say that the rate, and I'm going to write it like a fraction. So I'm going to say six highlighters for every four kids. Now that ratio can be simplified just like a fraction. To simplify it, I see that two is going to go, is a common factor of six and four. So I'm just going to simplify this. So a six to four ratio simplifies to a three to two. And we would say that these are equal ratios. If you have six highlighters for every four kids at your table group, it's the same thing as saying that there's three highlighters for every two kids. Think of your six highlighters. There's four kids. Well, if you just look at you and your partner, that's two kids. If you were going to split them up, you'd each have, you and your partner would have three. So six to four is equal or is an equal ratio to three to two. This ratio can be simplified to a three to two ratio. They're the same. And I'm going to add my, uh, I'm going to abbreviate highlighters for every two kids. Okay. Over here, this would be six highlighters for every or per four kids. Uh, that's your lesson for today. Uh, I will give you your practice pages in class. Uh, and Remember, you can pause, back up. These are the notes that I should see in either your uh, comp book or on a note page. And last but not least, the hidden treasure for this lesson is that you've got these notes. If I ask for the hidden treasure uh, the day after the assignment, you can produce this page in your notebook. That's all for this lesson. See you next time.